Okay, so this is our Anime Fresh Bites review, episode two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to be back. Yes, sir. <laughs> you said you're good, yeah. though, yeah? I'm good, man. Myself, Jud. Neil like Highlander. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you saying, though? You good? Yeah, you just said chilling, you know, during the Rona times. Obviously, the Anime Fresh from Community, you would have got a, a young glimpse of how it's going from our last episode, but ever since then, no, it's changed really still. Even with Boris, I mean, he's the thing a little bit, but like I said, man's enjoying the lockdown. Just um, keeping to myself still. Yeah, I'm it. super zen right now, you know. Mm, can't lie, this lockdown's been a blessing, fam. Like, like we said, it's had its, its ups and downs, but mo- mainly more, more ups, kind of, for the most part, really. I, 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 I go back to work. I like work from home still. I ain't trying to be around in people. One thing that I've realised over this like lockdown is that I'm stupidly unfit because I try to go for a walk. Like, I'm even gonna come with gym still. I said a walk. I tried to go for a walk the other day. I was walking for like how long was I walking for? Maybe like half an hour, forty five minutes. Yeah, and I was wheezing. Oh my days! Wait, you, I thought you were gonna say you were sweating. You were like out of breath and that. Yeah. Do you know what it was? It was just one of those things. It was like. I was walking, and then at one point, I was just like, "Wow, I'm, I'm just really tired." Like, ah, but you drive as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, I need to stop all of that. Like, while the weather's good, I want to really actually be out on my feet more. Yeah, yeah I was even gonna say to later on today, man's gonna be hitting the park to do some exercise. I haven't done exercise in a minute due to my knee that's been a bit swollen. Mm. But today, I'm definitely gonna get back on the regime because it's time. I mean, all this extra time, man's just got like got no excuse for you, you know what I mean? I want to do that exercise thing like calisthenics and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's the way forward. But no kind of core. Nope. What do you mean? My, my core is just disgusting. Like the- no, that's what I'm saying. Don't think about it like that. That's even more motivation for man to get on it asap. Like I could only do like two wire grip pull ups at a go. Every time I went to gym, just two, two, two. Now I can do 10, 10, 10, maybe even like another ten after just through perseverance. I'm telling you, it's the way forward. You got. to you done motivation is the best way forward. I'm telling you, especially now and that, because man got bare free time. Because even my life packs have kind of gone a bit. I can't lie. We've been sitting down all day, eating. You know, I'm eating my life. You know what? I'm not trying to be eating because I'm full on that line, man. Like you know, what? I'm gonna have a bit of. I'm having some bananas, some fruits, some. Probably the reason I ain't got big, big, because I'm plant based. I think that's the only reason. Uh, you know how it goes. I'm, I'm like, going to swear out at some point. I mean, but, and that actually ties into, you know, what we're going to be talking about today because from what I know in Beastars, from what I've seen, everybody's quote-unquote plant-based whether they like it or not still, even the carnivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we're going to be reviewing Beastars, mm. which is the new Netflix anime. I came out like, what was it, like last month or two months ago? Two months max. I think max. it was two months ago, something yeah. like that. So basically, it's about this uh, society of animals who are like humanoid, anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. That you see, yeah, we need the we need the vocabulary in that. Anthropo- anthrop- oh shit! Anthrop- <laughs> 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 I thought you had it at the start as well, you know. Anthropomorphic. The, the, the community knows what we're trying to get at. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the animals that basically just walk on all their hind legs like humans do now, regardless of if they usually wouldn't walk on. North yeah, wars, but yeah, Herb- herbivores and carnivores live in peace together, and mm-hmm. um, basically, nobody's allowed to eat meat in that society. Meat is actually that that's outlawed. But even so, carnivores, yeah, so the carnivores can't eat meat. Everyone's on a plant based diet. So the story centers around our main character, who's called Lagoshi, who's a grey wolf, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, I think it should not to cut you off, but I think it should also be stated that the world in which they're set is quite similar to the real one, if you know what I mean. Like a Zootopia, like we said before. Um, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, how can I put this? Um, it's as close to the real world as possible, given that the main characters are all animals and the setting is tailored so that the, the, the premise doesn't lose touch with the world that we live in, if I can put it that way, if you know what I mean. It makes sense. It makes sense. But go on, sorry to you. So it's like a little bit of a basis in reality. So mm. realistic. 
So yeah, it's a story about a grey wolf named Lagoshi who's at this school and he uh, meets a rabbit named Haru. And it's essentially just sort of going through um, him trying to figure out himself. Yeah, basically, I'll say that. It's a story of him trying to figure out himself. So like, you know, carnivores in that world are normally very strong, but he's quite timid. He's a uh, very, yeah, he's a very sort of reserved guy. And I guess he doesn't sort of go according to what his instincts are as a carnivore. And so it's basically just him trying to find himself. I mean, I never thought about that way, to be honest, because I was just thinking the whole time. Because from when you recommended it to me, I thought I'd seen it on uh, Netflix. The animation from the glance I had at first didn't really appeal to me too much. But your recommendation for, you know what? Um, Jed said, okay, so I'll give it a try. I watched like the first six episodes and... The pacing, I like the way it starts with the, um, you know, the the murder of the, the student. Yeah, by yeah. Carnival, which gives it a nice little dark twinge, if I can put it that way. But then it kind of undoes itself in a way due to the the fact that you touched on that Lego she's just, just timid because he's always just having these inner monologues constantly like, oh, what do I do? And how do I go about this? And should I go about this? And I'm like, bro, just like, just like, you're 17 and you should secretly be the time of your life and you're having the most fun and you know you're just like I think I think with um these stars and I think the well obviously the season that we've watched it yeah it, it kind of moves the story moves along quite slowly but I mm. think it's kind of necessary so that like you can actually sort of understand like what's going on with Lagoshi and like you know I guess sort of the way that he sees things and like just the way that he sort of takes time to come to like, I don't know if it, I don't know if I want to say realizations or decisions, that kind of stuff mm-hmm. there. But yeah, I think it's an interesting story. I think it's definitely like a good departure from like, it's if, if that's more your thing, like something that's more story driven than like, you know, let's say a battle shonen or something of that nature or an adventure shonen. This is definitely something that I would uh, recommend watching. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, I had my reservations at first. Um, after the first six, I just tuned out. But then I thought, you know what? Let me let me get back to actually see how it ends. I'm actually intrigued to know how it's going to end in regards at least to Legoshi and Haru, given that, you know, it's a wolf and a rabbit and how the fuck does that work? Um, and I was... I can, it, was, it was all right still. Like you said, it's story-driven. For someone that likes that kind of thing, It'll be decent. And to be honest, it was, um, uh, oh, what's the expression? Mm. Um, it was, a. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of it. Cause I'm used to, you know, just about like Hunter Hunter and Bleach and all them one day battle thing. This one, it was something different. And even though it took me a while to get to actually like build up a life, I still, you know, gave it, I'll give it a, a decent rating, which we'll do at the end, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed more the other characters than I did Legoshi, even though he's actually the protagonist. I'll put it that way. All right, let's talk yeah. about the other characters. Like, what, like, so I guess there, there's, from what, what I would say, there's like three main, I, I think there's, there were three main characters in this, like, story arc that we saw. So, obviously, we Legoshi, and then we got like Haru, who's the rabbit girl that he meets. The dwarf the rabbit. The story. Like, thoughts on Haru? Bro, I remember you telling me that she was basically quite promiscuous, you know, not to be, um, to, to keep it diplomatic and respectful. But when she actually comes into the to the series, I was like, no, maybe Jed was wrong because the vibe she's given off. And actually, when I was watching one of the episodes yesterday, I think it was episode seven, it starts off with uh, her giving an inner monologue while the scenes transition from one to another. And I remember thinking, raw, like everything about her, you know, the fact that she's a white rabbit and quite small and demure and the, her demeanor, the way she acts and portrays herself would have you thinking from, you know, the first season that she's quite, I don't know, I don't use the word pure, but just the word, I don't know, virgin comes to mind like a, like a good girl kind of. And then as I'm thinking girl next that, door, basically. Yeah, but bro, while I'm thinking that the scene literally transitions to her being under Ruby, I'm like, oh my dear. This girl, <laughs> she, yeah, no, I came out of nowhere. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. But why do she not have limits? Because, because I mean, this is there's Rui, 
Then there's the other rabbit. Then there's Lego Shiyu. She literally, like we said before in the other episode, he tries to give it up to man in the shed about five minutes after meeting him for the first time. I'm like, raw, because she, she's the kind of girl that a don would simp for. That, this is a simp's worst nightmare because she would twang his mind in all kinds of ways and he just won't see it coming still. And she, but I was quite surprised as well when she gave the explanation, or one of the explanations, because I think she gave two, as to why she is the way she is. Mm. Which is, you know, living in a world where there's a dwarf rabbit where the cons- the the death, the, the threat of death is quite constant because, you know, carnivals have their, their instincts repressed. So when it does come to the fourth for them, it's just peak. So she uses that to, you know, stay alive and, you know, well, I think you touched upon this. What was it you used an expression yeah. to? So um, I think with um, like Hari, like I mean, I, I can't remember the point about like I do you know I don't remember the thing about like the staying alive, but I do remember like she was talking about basically she like how she only feels valued basically, or like she only feels seen. I think that's what she said specifically. Like she only feels seen basically if she's sleeping with someone. That's when she feels powerful. I think that's I think that's two sides. What I just said and what you said are two sides of the same coin, still. Oh right, yeah. So basically, you know what I mean? yeah. So basically, she was saying like you know she's like obviously she only feels powerful like you know when she's sleeping with someone. Whereas <laughs> when it's kind of it's kind of weird because like the show clearly shows that like she's a smart girl that kind of thing. Like, she's probably got stuff going for her. So I think her, her disadvantage is that. Being a dwarf rabbit, she's like tiny and she's helpless. Like she's, you but, know. But don't, don't you think it's a bit weird that she feels that way? Because there are literally animals in that world that are smaller than her, like the mice who have to walk along the side of corridors to make sure that they don't get stepped on by the bigger students. I guess, I guess so. But I mean, everyone's kind of got their own, I don't know, everyone's got their own experience. So I imagine, you know, being like a dwarf rabbit and stuff, like she's only ever going to be prey to someone. But that might be that the way that she looks at life. I mean, I get that to a certain extent, but I think, okay, if you only feel validated or, you know, alive or whatever, when you're having, you know, intercourse, then wouldn't it be better to just, like, find one guy and just have him be you down, like, the whole time? Because, there's, cause, I mean, her, her social status at the school is in the bin, fam. No one likes her. She's a loner. So now yeah. she kind of, it kind of seems that she needs to become a bizzle, a hoe, to, to, to attract more people so that she can feel... It's like a vicious cycle for us, though. Like, it's just mad. Yeah, mad. I think, like, you know, there's there's a lot of self-confidence issues that... You know, it's a running theme throughout the whole thing, though, throughout the whole story. Like, with all of the main characters, they all seem to have, like, issues with self-confidence and, like, um, I guess really being comfortable in who they are. I mean... makes sense. I hear that. I, I respect her though more than I do Legacy because at least she keeps it 100, fam. She don't like, she she don't play games. She is what she is. She accepts that. And it's karma as Legacy. Like I said before, constantly doubting himself. And it's hard to respect someone that's so, so meek, especially when they actually have the um, physical potential, if not the the, inter- the psychological potential as well. What? Do, what? Do you want to respect Legacy at all then? Pardon? What, we don't respect Lagoshi at all? Oh, you, like, like I told you before, fam, he reminds me of Ted so much from How I Met Your Mother. And Ted is the he's the ultimate simp to me, the ultimate waste man. So, no, because the ending, fam, it just seemed like, come on, bro. You, it, everything is geared towards you um, being put in the position where shit is like normal for you, like how it should be. And you still go against that to chase quote unquote love when like, but then again, he's 17. So what can you really young. You got to let him. Yeah. Him young, young. So, yeah fam. All right. So I what were we saying? Like animation was like, what, what would like, how, how are you feeling? It? I can't lie. Yeah, I, had, I had my reservation at first. Cause usually I'm not a 3d. Was it, was it 3d, right? It was 3d or CG. Yeah. Guy. I think it's like a kind of cell shaded kind of thing going on. Mm, was, and normally I'm not really with that. Like you see, you can, yeah, like it can get a bit much at times. Like for example, Ken Ganashira, I didn't really like it there. Oh no, but I like, like that. I was feeling I can't lie. 
I don't know. I didn't like the. I'm not gonna. Lie, I didn't like the the art style for Kengan Ashura. But like here, I think it's it's more bearable. So, like, what are you saying for it? I, I liked it. You know, like we like I'm with you, friend. I had my my doubts at first because I mean, on a side note, Berserk. One of the main reasons why the second and uh, pro, got series going on from there fell off so hard is because the animation instead of being um 2D like the first one was went 3D. And it was just poor. So ever since then, I've always had um like a an aversion to it, if I can put it that way. But this one actually was a version, you know. It's quite vibrant as well. The colors do are, are, are quite nice. It's bright, colorful. Um, all in all, it was nice though. It suited it, if I can put it that way. Mm. I don't know if it would have been done another way if it would have come out the same way, had the same effect. If I, I think they did, they did well, to be honest, because like mm. uh, you know, for me anyway, like colors. When you're when you're actually trying to emphasize certain points, like it, you, you kind of need the scene to be set right, and you kind of like so. For example, certain like um, One Piece, there will be times where they're having serious fights, and not saying that you can't have a serious fight in midday or whatever. But I think if there's like a sort of darker tone overall, it just kind of adds to you know the like that scene where he goes to to save you know who. Yeah. 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 That scene was mad, though. Yeah. My man was like, yo, bro, don't worry. Uh, it's going to be calm. I respect you. I get naked. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of little shit is this? I was like, this is sick in the mind. Because that be- it tackles grown queens quite well. Because even that whole, I mean, there's literally uh, murder, you know, rape. Um, yeah, murder, potential rape. Potential rape, human trafficking. Human that trafficking is in there. I fully totally forgot that. about that. That was mad. Um, you know, the whole moral aspect of, you know, whether a carnival should eat meat or not. Um, because from when Legoshi is a grey wolf who looks forward to having egg sandwiches on a Wednesday, there, there's something we're going on still. Yeah. And then yeah. Whole, like the hen, there's just bare for you, I mean, it's good. It's good. I can't like, I liked it still. I'm waiting for the second season. I, I had to go to the second season as well, still. Because, I mean, just to find out what happened to my man Red, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say the name because I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah. That was unexpected. Because I thought, okay, I mean, my man's due to be, like, he's, he's a very prominent character. And they do this to him so late as well. In I think, was it the last episode or the second to last? It was one of the two. And we still don't know what happened to my man. So it was good, still. If the second season doesn't do... The first season justice, then I, I don't think I'll continue because it is quite a slow burner. So yeah, but sometimes really I think that, that helps though, to build a story and actually sort of build the world around them, isn't it? Like, still don't know what happened. Like, and there's cu- there's a couple of cliffhangers. We still don't know what's happened to Rui. Um, there's more than one. No, that's what I'm saying. We don't know what's happened to him. Oh, plus the way it ends, you don't even know if my man. And what's it called? Legacy and, and Haru done the thing or not? I can't lie, that, that hotel scene, you told me about that before, it's actually quite funny as well, still. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, yeah, that was something. Yeah, and that's, you, you know what, though? Like, when you're watching these things, do you ever not think to yourself, like, when they've got these like, really, really sexual scenes, you're like, bro, these bro, are teenagers, you know? That's, I was thinking like yesterday, I was, I was even like watching, like, yo, because, like, they're about to do the thing. Are they going to show him actually, like, what the hell are they going to show? No, 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 no. Then we, go, then we get into the realms of hentai and that. That's not what we do around here. Trust me, like, this is a rabbit and a wolf. Like, won't he literally, like, do too much? Won't it be too... This isn't the size a problem? Like, what kind of madness is this, bro? Because even the hotel inter-species are accepted. Man, like, yo, fam, this is... They for everything still. No horse barge. That show is nuts, though. It is nuts. When you think about it on a on a real tip thing, it, it, it is kind of nuts, though. All right, what are you saying then? Let's 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 wrap it up and rate it. Then what what would you give it out of ten? Uh, I'll give it a six point five, strong six point five. I don't know about a seven. I can I can just give it by six six point five to seven between thereabouts, there and thereabouts. Oh, I'll, I'll give it a yeah. I think I'll give it like I'll give it the same actually. I'll give it a mm. six point five. I'm waiting on the second. I'll give, I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. I'll give, give it a it solid seven. seven. Yeah, I think it's just pushed the seven. Wait, a bit, a bit more adventure. 
just waiting for the next season to come out and then see where they go with it. Yeah, if they're a bit more adventurous on the second season, then I can bump it up to like a 7.5 still. I mean, I'm not talking about no hentai or nothing like that because obviously we don't do that around here. But No, just... we don't do that around here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Maybe sir. A bit more, more fast-paced. No, sir. Oh, bro. I mean, that shit was from back in the day. Is, is hentai even about still like today? Everything's about, bro. I mean, if you really want to know if it's about, you, you'll you find out. <laughs> Bad shit, though. Oh, that's it. Them legacy yeah. ones there. But, yeah, yeah, that's... I'd recommend it. Maybe, I don't know, as a... If, anim, to an anime freshman, like someone who's just come into the anime community, I don't know if this is something for you. Um, There are other enemies out there that I'm pretty sure someone who's new to the game can start with and will find more enjoyable because this seems like one that someone who's used to anime would have a better feel for, if I can put it that way. I think this is definitely an anime for someone who values story over anything else because mm-hmm. this is definitely one of those things there where you've got to look at the story and like the under, under what do you call it, themes? The overarching themes, underlying themes. Underlying, that's the one. A teenager might even enjoy this a bit more. They might even see themselves. Yeah, possibly. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, they were, what, they're 17 at the time? They're in high school? Or yeah, yeah. I don't know. High school, secondary school, middle school, wherever it is. Obviously, it's like an American theme. We don't have that over here in the UK. Um, yeah, they might be able to relate to it a bit more, whereas someone our age probably look, it will remind them of what secondary school was like still and what kind of, all that shit that they went through back in their times. All right, well... I guess we'll wrap it up there. Like, that's us, B-Stars. Yeah. Once again, this has been Jared. I'm here oh, with... Oh, there's still. There's what? <laughs> <laughs> just for the sake of, you know, clarity, my, my, one of my parents just walked through, you know. I'm here in the living room, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> On that note, we'll... we'll yeah, do you check out, our, check out our blogs? Yes. Check out one. It should be it's sure that by the time this comes out, it should already be out actually still. Should be out. We're on uh, the social still. Check us out on Facebook, Insta, Twitter, Snapchat, all anime at fre- on the anime freshman, not anime at freshman. Anime freshman. Right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Email us, holler at us, that's uh, hello at animefreshman.com. And obviously right, people, man, Yeah. Chat to us and uh, obviously uh if you've been What's the last one? Yeah, listen to the pod. Spotify, time. Apple Podcasts. We're mm. out there. The Anime Freshman Podcast. Okay. Works, and we're out. And keep it. Don't do that. <laughs>